Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Cloud Defensive Optimized Weapon Mounted Light. Let's get right into the first 30 second breakdown. This is where in the first 30 seconds, give or take, I give you guys my exact thoughts on this product before we get into the full review. The Cloud Defensive Owl. This thing's a pretty sweet light. So one of the things they really focus on is durability on this and it really tells because this thing is an absolute tank. Uh, I haven't done too many torture tests to it because the videos that they did uh, which I'll show later, are absolutely insane, the torture test I did to this. This thing is almost indestructible. I honestly would probably believe that the handguard will break before your flashlight does, and that is impressive. I've heard guys getting simunition rounds of the glass and never breaking. Um, I've dropped this multiple times, no cracks, no dings, nothing. This thing is a little monster. Um, everything's really submergible, so I can take this cap off, and then I could pour water in there, and everything's gonna work just fine, so you don't have to worry about water getting in there and everything. The electrical system is isolated and it gives us some capability that others don't have. It's not really recommended, but it absolutely works. So if you do get a little bit of water inside your light, it's not going to matter. Drop her in there. It's ambidextrous, you can move things around, so I could switch this completely over just by screwing this and switching the head and the cap, which is really neat. And uh, about the only downfall I would say with this is the fact that it is kind of large. It's a little bit larger than what you're used to, so it's a little less customizable. So like something like this, where you could put your light where you want it, you could put your tape switch where you want it, and move things around a little bit, kind of make it a little more streamlined. Um, that would be one of the biggest downfalls I see with this. Light output is really nice. The pad is super nice that they use on, and there's no cables, which is a huge benefit. So like you've seen there, a really quick touch leaves it on and then holding it is momentary. So Really cool light, really excited to get into the full review with you guys. So now let's get into my relationship with Cloud Defensive. They did send me the OWL along with this handguard. This is their core V1 handguard. It's got the cutout to make the OWL sit a lot more flush. I also have their V2 here, which you can't see because of the sling, uh, which has a cutout on that one as well. Really cool sling, or really cool handguards. Uh, I think they really fit well with the lights if you mix them together. Uh, I've got a review on those. If you wanna check those out, I'll put a link somewhere in here. Um, so Cloud Defensive did send me the owl along with the handguard. I did not pay for it. I have bought a lot of their stuff from their website before. I've worked with Cloud Defensive. I think they're a really good company. I think they come out with really cool products and I'm excited to continue working with them. Um, so I did not pay for these. So let's get right into the full review. Let's just go right into pros and cons. Let's uh, dive right into those. Biggest pros are durability. Very durable. I'll go over some videos here, show you guys all the durability tests they did. They were throwing it off balconies. They were smashing against the ground, hitting it with rocks crazy stuff I would never expect a flashlight to withstand and this thing did as hard as it can <laughs> turn it on turn it on yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is awesome <laughs> so it's official. Wait, we have maxed out at uh, just, well, I think we might have bled off a pound, but that's 99, called 100 PSI. And that is the equivalent of, what was it? 230, 230 feet. 230 feet. Okay, so we froze an owl into a block of ice, and now we're going to activate it. We just drilled down to it. And there you go. Post. Owl. Hit it. So really impressed by it. I've dropped it a couple of times. Actually, one of my buddies, um, yes, Beckham. Are you done? Okay, Beckham's done eating. I gotta go get him. All right, we're back. Uh, struggles of filming with a child. So I was out with Kevin and we were at the range and he was asking me about light setups. What's the better light setup to go with? What he should do for his new build? I was showing him the different setups I have here and uh, I showed him the Cloud Defensive Allen. I was like, you know, this is one of the most durable flashlights I've ever seen. I went to hand it to him. And I don't know if either I fumbled or he fumbled it, but we dropped it like right on the rocks. And like, I wasn't worried and you could tell in his face, he was terrified. He was like, oh my gosh, I just dropped his really fancy expensive light. And I was like, dude, not a big deal. I'm like, like I said, it's one of the most durable lights. Picked it up, wiped off some of the debris and it was good to go. Not debris, but the, the residue from the rocks. And uh, it was good to go, never had an issue, I wasn't worried. I really can't say enough about how durable these things are. That is just a selling point in itself of how, how strong these lights are. Next is gonna be the fact that uh, you have no cables, you have no 
nothing to get hung up on. So what they did before with their LCS system is cable management, being able to keep the canch cable kind of stuck in there, but you can still get things hooked. There's still cable sticking out in different spots. So the fact that they were able to completely remove the cable is really cool. Now, the only downfall with that is the fact that if you want to run some other things, it kind of, kind of, doesn't allow you to because now you have a massive light there, but it's more of a purpose driven setup. Now, another big benefit to this is the fact that it's completely ambidextrous. So really simple to loosen this and take it off. So you take your battery out and you're going to take this piece on the end of the tail cap. You're going to just loosen it up and then you can take this completely off. You can switch it just like that and then you tighten it right back up and then you just take your head off switch sides, take your battery, and just like that, it is completely switched over to the opposite side. So you're able to switch things over really easy, which is really cool. I think I put the battery in the wrong way because <laughs> it's not turning on. Let me, let me try this. There we go. It is put back together the correct way. People ask, are you still able to access your pad even if you're going to be using it on your non-primary side? So if you have to switch your rifle around, are you still able to access it? And that answer is yes. It's still easy to access that pad. It's not really in the way. You're just gonna have a little bit of the flashlight tail in your grip. But other than that, it's not terribly uncomfortable and you're still able to access that pad pretty easily. This pad is actually really nice. Anywhere you press top, corners, middle, Everywhere has a really positive press. It's not like a click, like a flashlight would be, like a click, click, but it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like a really positive feel all the way down it. Like it's not super squishy where you're like, eh, am I even turn this thing on? But you know you're on and the fact that it's like all over this pad, like they did a really good job with the pad in my opinion. Um, I'm not a pad expert, so I'm not really sure how all that works in there, but I think they did a good job with the pad from other pads that I've used in the past. Now another pro is going to be the rechargeable batteries. That to me is a really big benefit just because you don't have to store a ton of CR123 batteries or anything. You have these rechargeable batteries. It comes with a charger and a really nice one as well. It's a night core charger. So you can just throw that on the charger when you're low, get it recharged, put it back in and you're good to go. Came with a red battery, which is more of a lower output, but longer battery life. And then I have a pink one in here that is higher output and less battery life. I've had this for quite a while now, going on four months and uh, I have had no issues with the battery life. Had not had to recharge it yet. My goal was to run this completely down, but uh, I want to get the video out to you guys and it still has not gone down. I've used this quite a bit, quite a few uh, night shoots along with just doing a lot of filming with it. And uh, a lot of people like to see it because they know I have one and uh, everyone wants to touch it, feel it, see it. So it's been used quite often. Uh, so I'm really happy with the battery life so far. I'd imagine uh, if I went out for three hours at a night shoot and using it constantly that whole time, um, I could probably finish this thing off and have it done but battery life has been pretty good for what I've been able to see now let's go over some of the cons now this is kind of a con and a pro is gonna be the design uh, pro because of the fact that it's you know very robust it has no wires and stuff like that but it's a con in the fact that this isn't for everybody this is not a flashlight that everyone should be running um, because it's very purpose driven. If you're a night vision guy, this probably isn't your, your flashlight because you're gonna have your D balls or your IRs up here and you want light lasers and, and touch pads over different spots. So this probably is not gonna be for you guys. This is gonna be for those guys that aren't running night vision, which is honestly the majority of you. Um, you really can't put this on different rails like my Tavor X95. It's such a high rail. I'm not gonna be able to actually use this light because it's so high. So on that gun, it's not gonna be able to be really useful unless I put it on the side rail, which can be done. It's just not really something that I'd probably end up doing. So I think it can be a con in the fact that the design limits it a little bit to certain guns. So uh, if you have a really purpose driven gun where you're like, I want a flashlight, that's all I'm putting on it. I just want a really good flashlight. Then this is absolutely your flashlight. But if you're looking like, okay, I want to put IR lasers, or I want to do certain things this might not work for that. So that can be a downfall. Uh, the next downfall is going to be uh, its size. It, a lot of people say it's, it's huge. I wouldn't say it's huge. This is a Streamlight ProTac, about the same size, not too much bigger. It's just a little bit girthier, which uh, isn't too bad, which that just helps with the durability. And then I've got a Surefire with a uh, different body on this Impact Weapon Components body. So lengthwise, and honestly, it's not too much longer than in the market. 
everything else. It's really just the fact that it's a little bit thicker and chunkier and it doesn't have that real thin body that most of them you're used to because used to the CR123s, they make it as thin as possible. This is just really chunky here on the sides and uh, they did that because of the durability. So that is gonna be a downfall I would say is the, the thickness. It does get a little bit large there on the side, um, but if you add it with their handguard, it really does a good job of bringing this flashlight down into the handguard and keeping everything a lot more streamlined, a lot more flush and not quite as big. All right, now we're gonna go for price. Uh, I had a kind of a hard time deciding if this is gonna be on the pro side or the con side. It's gonna be about $370. And a lot of people, when you hear that, uh, it's just like the surefires, you're like, holy crap, that's a ton of money. And it is, $375 is a lot of money. But what you're getting and what else is on the market, I don't think this is really a horrible price for what else is on the market. Uh, the Surefire here is in the, over the 300 mark. Um, you got mod lights, things like that are up there in that price range. So they're really expensive lights. And I think this does well along with those as well. It comes with rechargeable batteries, recharger, a charger for it, a really good charger, uh, super durable light, ambidextrous, and, and just the features that it comes with, I'm not gonna put it as a pro and I'm not gonna put it as a con. I can't put it as a pro because it is quite expensive, um, but I can't put it as a con because I think for everything that you're getting and what else is on the market and how good this light is, I think that it is a good price for what they're asking. If that is a little bit too much, you guys can use my code. It is Tactical Advisor. It'll give you guys 10% off on anything on Cloud Offensive. So that does bring the price down a little bit. So if you guys are looking to purchase one, you can use that um, and that will help a little bit. But yeah, the price, I think are about right where they should be. All right, so now we're gonna go out and do some light output stuff. I'll just show you guys some videos of the light output um, compared to some other ones. I'll go back. Honestly, I don't like doing light output videos just because cameras do not pick up the actual true light output. I could sit here and show you a video of me shining it to a tree line at 100 yards and it doesn't even close resemble what it's like in real life. Uh, so I'll show you the video because I know a lot of people like those, but just know I don't think video sh really shows true output of lights. I just don't think it captures the ambient lighting on the outside, all, all the other lights. I just don't think it captures it very well to really show you the true output of these things. Um, so I'll show you some video of it, but like I said, I just don't think it really truly captures exactly how good these lights are. And I think this is a really good beam. They really like more of a focused beam instead of a big flood. These, the stream lights are more of a flood that I've noticed. This is more of a focus beam. Um, this is gonna be getting an LPVO on it. And I think I'm gonna keep this on here for sure because I like the fact that it's a longer focus beam. Um, I think that with this setup, it'll be really perfect for what it is. But I showed that video here so you guys can kind of see that. So would I recommend this light and spend my own money on it? Um, 100%, I would definitely recommend this light. I think it's a great light. The only thing I would say is it's, again, it's a purpose-driven light. If you guys are doing it for its intended purpose and don't have a bunch of other bulk added to this, I think this is a perfect light to go with. If you guys want something durable, something that's gonna last you, something that's gonna uh, have great output, and uh, it's just gonna be here for a light and not add a bunch of other accessories like lasers and stuff, this is a fantastic choice. Now, if you're gonna be adding some other things, you just might wanna look into it a little more, maybe see with somebody that has one that made it work with what you want. But uh, I think this is definitely a really good light to purchase. I think Cloud Defensive is a really good company and I always enjoy supporting companies like that. So I'm more than happy to put my money towards companies that uh, are always looking for new things, innovating, making new things that are, are actually good and not just putting things out there just to make money. And uh, I'm always happy to support companies like that. So if you guys, yeah, that's super cool, isn't it? So if you guys want to check it out and get one for yourself, go ahead and go to Cloud Defensive's website and you guys can pick the owl, you can pick their hand guards, LCSs, the combinations, depending what you want, you can get a lot of things from their website, pick them up. So if you guys want to help me out in the page and everything I do, do you want some FaceTime? I think you want FaceTime. Here, use your face to get daddy support. <laughs> There's a couple ways to help support my channel. One is Patreon. If you become a Patreon, there's some benefits. You get early access to builds. Um, I'm doing a patch release here soon and all my patrons will get free patches. Uh, so things like that, that does help me out a lot and help me with uh, all the camera equipment, software, uh, editing software, guns, ammo, all the stuff that I do to help make good reviews for you guys. Yeah, we don't touch the trigger. Yeah, we don't touch the trigger. There's also a link in the description that goes straight to my website. From there, there's links like Brownells, Aero Precision, companies like that. Anything you use using my link gives me a small kickback. It shows the companies that I'm generating traffic, which helps me out a ton with uh, all the purchases that I make for this channel and make reviews. So if you guys do that, I really appreciate it. If not, I just really appreciate you guys liking, comment, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Focused on is durability, and they absolutely kicked it out of the park. Knock, knocked it out of the Kicked it. Yikes. I said kicked it out of the... <laughs> I can't help it. There's no sports on TV. Ah, that was embarrassing. Yeah, isn't that cool? Uh,